Okay, welcome to the Strong Diet next episode. Um, before we get to the results, we have to know where we are. Yeah, so we discussed first: Do you qualify for the low carb diet or carb diet? And then we went through a little bit of mindset training and how to uh, prevent being a loser inside your head. And it's going to apply to weight training, muscle gaining, weight loss, or actually business, or uh, whatever, driving a car, if you say, learn a driver, you have to visualize things first. Now, it could be applied to anything. Now, let's go to the little bit of uh, more scientific part, but obviously I'm not going to bore you to death with uh, any, not too much terms, okay? We need to sort out insulin sensitivity if you are a fat person and we need to sort out the leptin sensitivities. And insulin is pretty much known by a lot of people and I always like to talk, talk about things that are less discussed rather than about things that are more discussed because well, you can probably found out about insulin before. So leptin. It's a peptide, it's a hormone that is going to uh, dictate other hormones what to do. But what we want to focus on is dictating your thyroid to produce more thyroid hormones. And the more thyroid hormones you have, the faster your metabolism goes. Yeah? So for 1% of increase of thyroid, thyroid hormones to free, um, apparently your metabolism should go up by 6%. Yeah? So obviously you can take iodine, if you have iodine, iodine deficiency, your thyroid will go, uh, will have a boss, okay? But if not, that's not the case, if the case is that you're just very fat, you're producing so much leptin that your thyroid uh, as a gland said, I've got enough. Okay, I'll give you a, a quick um, comparison. Let's say I'm looking straight to the sun with bare eyes for five minutes what's going to happen to my eyes i'm going to lose sight probably and hopefully i can take it back i'm not sure how long i can look in the sun uh, before it's hopeless but let's say let's say the intensity of looking to the sun was not the one that's irreversible let's say the time wasn't re irreversible and what I need to do is actually put something in my eyes and not to look at anything so I can give a chance to recover for my retina, yeah, for the receptors that see the sun rays. Okay? And now leptin is like sun rays here and your thyroid is like the eye. And there's too much leptin attacking the eye, the thyroid gland. And your thyroid gland gets blinded, okay? So basically, the more fat you have, the more leptin you have. So as long as your thyroid can see the leptin, it will upregulate the metabolism. You'll have faster metabolism. You have more fat, metabolism goes up. You have less fat, metabolism goes down. Then you eat again, you have more fat, metabolism goes up. Metabolism goes up, fat goes down metabolism goes down because the leptin goes down with fat, okay? The other thing that's bringing the leptin up is carbohydrates. That's why if you're very fat, if you have carbohydrates, you can say goodbye to your fat loss because, or at least to reset of your thyroid. So your fat loss will be very temporary. You'll get yo-yo effect just because it's not the right time to increase the leptin. If somebody is very lean, say, sub 10% body fat, they have insufficient uh, amount of leptin, they feel very bad and they, they feel b feel very bad without leptin, okay? People feel a bit paranoid, girls feel a bit tearful, they, they can cry watching soap opera, etc. Like and as a lean person you have to up your leptin by having carbohydrates, as a fat person, you have to actually lower the leptin level. So basically, you have no carbohydrates for three weeks straight. Yeah, that's a 
as a guideline okay but you know what just do it as I say because it works okay three weeks no carbs then at the end of three weeks one meal with carbs then or maybe two meals of okay but it has to be carbs from natural sources it's not, I'm not talking sugar here yeah if you if you wait in three weeks to have a Mars bar work here on your vision I discussed that la last video if you have that problem you're probably not gonna make it to the end okay let's go again another three weeks no carbs carbs yeah and so on and at some point you'll be lean enough your leptin will be low enough to to kind of getting these symptoms of being a little bit tearful if you're a girl paranoid a little bit if you're a guy feeling very strange like somebody's watching you maybe I don't know if you feel like you're walking through hell keep walking for one more day because maybe you just pass a, a shelf in Tesco with chocolate and you're feeling like you're walking through hell that's a hell isn't it <laughs> when you're craving it if you're craving it go back to the previous videos I said how to sort out cravings and next thing that walking through hell will happen one day before the three weeks it will happen somewhere like two and a half weeks next time it will happen two point two weeks and one day then one week and a half etc etc it will be high and high frequency until you get to a point when you have a six pack or six pack ish yeah and at some point you deserve to have carbs after training and maybe later after training before bed okay so this is the basis of leptin sensitivity manipulation all I've got to say today if you, if you feel like this is informative you can uh, wait for the next video if you feel it's not you can unsubscribe <laughs> see you next time